Hey, what's up, YouTube? You know who I am. Today, I got a new deck profile for you guys. This one's on um, Chaos Dragons with ninjas in them. So, uh, let's get straight to the deck profile. First off, we run two Hanzo. Basically, you search for a super transformation, and then you can, with that, you can go for a dragon, which we run a lot of dragons, as you'll see in the deck. We only run two because I think three is pretty much a dead draw if you draw it. And late game, it pretty much sucks. And you have a lot of first turn plays, so you don't want to mess up your first turn play by doing this if you could have done something else. So now we go one red MD because it's at one. Triple light pulsar. Standard stuff. Triple dark flare. I like three because we lost some dragons that we lost. I think a chaos sorcerer because it's at one. So it's good for that extra um, banishing to get this guy out on the field. And also, it's good for Hanzo too. Next off, we run one Eclipse. One Eclipse, you still need just because it's hard to get to your Red MD. And you can go this with Super Transformation as well. Now, for the Lights Run Engine, we run three Raikou, three uh, Lila Standard. And tour guide engine, two tour guides, Sangan, nice Sangan. Nice Sangan's good when you discard from the hand to the grave with uh, Light Pulsar's effect from the grave, you get his effect, you get back a Raikou. It's a good card. And we run two card trooper, really good card. Good solid first turn play, milling three. And then when your opponent kills it, you draw one. Really solid card. Now for Hand traps, you run Gores, two Trag. Since we don't run many traps or many spells, and we usually have a pretty big hand, these are good cards to run. More hand traps, Triple Veiler. Really good card, it's also a light, so you can banish, hit. It's usually one of the first things you banish if you're going for like a light pulsar or something like that. Now for Boss Monsters. Again, we run a BLS, a Chaos Sorcerer, and a Dark Armed. So those are the monsters. I do not know how many monsters, but it's pretty standard, except for the Hanzos. But there's only two Hanzos. So next, we're gonna go to Spells, which is one charge, that staple. And I play three Recharge. Three Recharge because when I played that two, I never drew it, and I'd always have these light thorns in my hand that were kind of useless. That didn't help me at the time. So solar recharge, it makes me draw it more often. If I mill it, then I even don't draw it more often. So three, I think is a good number because you're always drawing some light thorns. Now for staples, we run a reborn, dark hole, heavy storm, staples, and personal tech, two MSTs. Chaos yeah, Dragon players don't really use MST because they have Lila's. But this is a great card because I think pretty much every deck now runs back rows. You got wind ups, you got gear gears, you got heroes, you got six Sam, all that shit. Runs a lot of back row. And this just clears your way just in case you don't have enough shit to bait out all the back rows, you have MSTs. Now for the last two cards. I think this makes it 42. There's our two transformations that we search for Hanzo, which we can use it on a Hanzo. Select one of their monsters, and we special summon a dragon, which we would special summon. Could be Eclipse, Dark Flare, that, or even a Red MD if their monster has a high enough level. Because it's, it's a combined level, so if it's just like a level four. These three you can only go into, but if it's past, well, if it's six or higher, you can go into this because it's level 10. So like, let's say it's a Shining or something like that, or you're playing a mirror match with this or that on the field. You know, you can bring out this, which is huge. It's so key game winning card right here. So good. So that's the main deck. I'm just gonna show you the extra deck real quick, just some cards that you might need. Of course we run two rides, so we need uh, rank threes. 
pretty much our staple if you run tour guide and we run giga and acegolm so we have lots of room utopia my stroke pop ball imperative my opinion the three best generic rank threes in the game right now Rank 5s, you're on TRS Adrius because we can go to rank 5s pretty easily with a Dark Flare, maybe a Trag on the field, or two Dark Flares to get over on some pesky cards that, like, either a Big Beater or like a Spirit Reaper that we can't get over. And for our level 6, we run one Sword Breaker. Now, this replaces an Exit Beetle. This is a very cheap uh, replacement for it, but it's very good. It's like a Cataster, you detach one and declare any time. Any type you want, no, any, yeah, any type. So I guess that would be like a warrior or something like that. I think that's what it is. I get them confused sometimes. But yeah, it's like a Cataster, but you get to pick. It's also 2700 attack, and you can use it twice. But it's only once per turn, so it takes two materials. So you can have like two Cataster with this thing. Now for Synchros we run a Cataster <laughs> and Stardust Scrap Dragon. So yeah, that's the deck guys. Please uh, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think of it. See uh, if it's good, you can test it out. Good deck. Um, so yeah, leave a comment. Tell me how it did. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And thank you guys. Peace out.